Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in once again. Let's randomize these babies. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Tater Blue Baby, I'm not going to do Tater Blue Baby. Okay, I'm going to find a character that I haven't played in a little while. Because I feel like I'm getting a lot of the same people. There you go. There you go. I feel like we haven't played Tainted Judas in a good while. I swear there's still like a few characters we still haven't got on the series. Like in fact, I know that this is a character randomizer. But let's just go and have a little look-see of the characters we haven't yet seen because I know there's definitely a few and this is a bit of a bit of a slow way to start the episode but essentially I have my um my thumbnails that I make and I've added in the characters but I haven't I've been adding them in as I use them so there's a few of them that on this newer thumbnail for the Mega Modded series I still haven't used um we got uh, tainted lost Right, uh, Tainted Forgotten, Regular Forgotten, Eden, Bethany, um, Tainted Apollyon, Azazel, Judas, Jacob and Ezao, Blue Baby, Eve, Lilith, Eden, Apollyon, Cain, Tainted Isaac, Tainted Judas, Samson, Tainted Maggie, Maggie, Tainted Blue Baby, Tainted Azazel, Tainted Bethany, Tainted Keeper, Normal Keeper, Tainted, um, the hell is his name? Samson, Normal Eve, Tainted Lazarus, Tainted Lilith, and Isaac. So, th there's got to be a few missing from there. So, let's, let's, let's think. Obviously, Cain's missing, but I'm, I, I'm sorry, but I'm just not going to play Cain on the series. I don't, I don't like the idea of that. Um, so, I don't think we've done Tainted Eden. I think we've played all the tainted characters now, at least. I don't know who we're missing. We're definitely, I definitely feel like we're missing someone. Anyways, we'll just play with what we got. What did we get? We got tainted Judas. Let's just go for it. Let's just jump on in. I've, I'm starting this video up pretty early in the morning. I'm, I'm, uh, I said pretty early in the morning. It's not pretty early in the morning. It's pretty early in the morning for me. Ooh, we got a good item to start here. We got uh, Eden's Blessing last time. This is a really interesting item. Essentially... We have a chance, based on luck, to fire a bomb tier that does that. It's very strong. Um, it's it's really good for us. That it's going to be very very useful. I was like, when we when we first spawned, I was like, what's going on with my uh, with my head? Why why does why do I have a like a strange coloured head? Oh god! Oh, that was bullshit. <laughs> I couldn't avoid that. Oh, thank god that Pyron was. Dude, these black balls of death. This is a really really hard room. Luckily, we have extra bombs. That was that was a bit spicy, a bit close. Ooh, the everything jar. Hell yes. I do you know one thing. I, I any any modders that are watching this series. I know some of you don't make single items. Some of you are character makers. Some of you are huge mod pack makers. Whatever. But if there's anyone out there that has the know-how and talent to do so, I would love to see uh, um, a mod that kind of beefs up the everything jar a little bit. I know the everything jar is already very strong. That's not really what I mean. I more so mean, I think it'd be interesting for the everything jar to randomize a little bit and have a lot more options. For one, the 12 room charge effect should have way, way more effects. Like, it's meant to be the everything jar and it has like 10 effects. Like, and they're not, like, many of them aren't even good. Like, they're not even worth it. So it'd be cool to see um, some new effects added to the 12 room effect. But also something i kind of like to see is um, have the, have the, um, the order of certain things randomized a little bit. Like, for example, um, when you, when you get um, a, a, like a pill or a card, it has the chance to instead be a rune. Like it's something of equal value. It have to, it have to stay of equal value, but um, something that that is a bit different, so that it does kind of feel like an everything jar. Like when, when you when you can spawn a soul heart, it could end up spawning a, um, a uh, like black heart instead or something. It'd be it'd be really cool to just see a little bit of a, a little bit of an upgrade to that item to make it a little more everything jarry. Because it's it's not really at the minute. It's more of just a a good jar rather than an everything jar. Oh, this item is so good. Like the chance for it to happen is already quite high. I should really be using this as well. I don't know why I'm not. 
Uh, there's a soul heart for us. Because at the minute, yeah, this is this is one of the things with the everything jar. You just end up kind of using it as a, um, as like a, is an eight room, I think. A soul heart generator, and then sometimes you use it for golden bombs. But that's kind of about it. <laughs> I don't know if the bombs do full damage, by the way. I don't think they do. I feel like they don't. Okay. Working out quite well. But yeah, you can see they're not super common, but they are pretty common considering how strong it is. Nice. Salsa uh, gives Isaac a random stat up that changes each floor. So the stat up we get this floor doesn't matter, unfortunately. Of course, this floor it was damage. God damn it. That's a pain in the ass, but all along we go. But yeah, the, this uh, this mute, I think it's called Mutant Bomb or something like that, um, was actually originally an item from Alpha Birth, which Alpha Birth was kind of an interesting one. It was kind of the first of its kind in terms of um, in terms of mod packs for. Oh god. Okay, I, can, I keep forgetting to use Dark Arts for invincibility like that. Um, it was kind of the first of its kind where it came to Isaac mod packs. Of course, there was ones before it, but it was like the first sort of big mod pack, the big named mod pack that everyone knew about. At least it was for me. Um, and uh, it was really, really good. I remember um, they were quite ambitious and it ended up being like a three-part pack. It did have some 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 buggy stuff with it and I, I, I remember correctly the code wasn't perfect, but that was more due to API limitations than anything. They were quite ambitious but couldn't really do what they wanted. I think that's ultimately why they stopped making it and why it hasn't received an update for Repentance. But someone has nicely, I think they got permission, I hope they got permission, um, added in the Alpha Birth items, or at least some of them, to a pack. Oh, I managed to stop that bucket in midair there. Um, yeah, I added the Alpha Birth items to a pack that we get to, uh, get to use now, which is pretty good. Um, let's go get into Iron Room. We do have a key over here. We should all go, also go into our cash room. By the way, a few things I just want to sort of kind of talk about briefly is, for one, I actually didn't realize, um, which, oh, we got Kamikaze again. Hell yes. Okay, so do not lose a charge here because we can get a soul heart out of this. Soul heart. And yes, please. Yes, please. Dark Arts Kamikaze is one of the funnest things you can possibly get. It's amazing. Um, mainly because Kamikaze got a pretty big buff, and Dark Arts means you can't take damage, and you can still use Kamikaze, and Kamikaze is infinite use, so now we can go boom, and um, we can we can do that pretty pretty regularly, pretty regularly. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and blow up some of these buckets here. Well, yeah, this is uh, this is probably the most powerful combo for uh, Tainted Judas that I know. Obviously, the Soul Converter one used to be a bit more strong, a bit stronger, should I say, but it's it's not anymore. Anyways, what was I talking about? Um, saying yeah, one thing I didn't realize, like I knew it had done well and I knew it'd been pretty successful, but do you know the um, do you know the pack that I made that adds secret rooms, the rare secret room packs? I did make them rarer, like in the in the most recent update. I say the most recent update. It was quite a while ago now. It's like a month or two ago. But the, they are quite rare now. Um, but I, uh, I had a, I had a look on the Steam page because I think I just had a comment on it. Um, someone just commented on it, and goddamn, that mod popped off. <laughs> like. I didn't realize quite how how uh, well that mod did in terms of downloads. It's got like how many downloads there? I got to go check now. I got uh, I got on there for sure here. Um, files you've posted, rare secret rooms. It has fifteen thousand downloads. 15,600 to be precise. It's insane how well that did. Like, I was checking for, um, it, the main reason I kind of noticed, I, I said I said in the comment, but I also, I was checking for um, some new room mods, because I, I often just browse the workshop to look for new things. So I was, I, I was filtering by rooms and checking for new room mods. And, um... Yeah, I I was like, oh, right, uh, let's, let's have a little look-see here. Turns out, of the past, I think, I think it's of the past six months, Mine was like the first or second most popular. Where the hell's our secret room, by the way? I'm very confused right now. I'm, I don't really get, we definitely have a secret room, right? I'm not really getting where it is right now. 
I'm so confused. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. And I'm going to just leave it because I can't be asked. Look at that. <laughs> oh, god damn. This is a very explosive run and I like that. Um, I think we are going to take Angel Deal here, to be honest. Did we get a goal in mind? Bosch Rush and the Lamb. Interesting. I will try my best to make Bosch Rush, but usually going to the downpour makes that a little harder. Oh my god. How many projectiles did I hit then? What happens? Um, I'm guessing... Yeah. I was about to say, I'm guessing that fly is going to be a summoner wave. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's it's just it's one of the only times that Kamikaze. What the hell is going on with this run? This is the most explosive run I've ever had. <laughs> I don't know what this does to our um to our little fetus thing, but uh, our mutant fetus item. But we'll see. But yeah, this is the most explosive run ever. Uh, but yeah, it's like, this is like one of the only synergies that makes Kamikaze like super viable. Because I think Kamikaze is an item that people don't really, uh, can we? No, we can't. Um, I think I'll still do this anyways. Because I'm not going to take any damage from leaving. Um, I, I, I do think Kamikaze is an item that people do underrate. Like, yes, it costs health and anything that costs health for, for damage isn't going to be the best also. Oh. You've just got to, haven't you? You've just got to. Um, yeah, it isn't going to be the best, but it's a free explosion. Well, I won't say free, but it's like a, a pretty high, like, good damage explosion for, like, basically unlimited bombs, essentially. Um, and then on top of that, it does insane damage. Crawl space again. Please, Ipecac guys, can you, like, just put out a hotfix to fix this bug rather than waiting for the next major patch. I'm, I'm saying it like it's super easy to do, and I know that sound, might sound a bit ignorant of me, but <laughs> it really needs fixing. It's super overpowered, and it's been in the game for way too long at this point. Like, the, the, the last big update that added that bug was, like, two weeks ago at this point. <laughs> it's a bit much. Right. But yeah, we are Mr. Explosive, and I'm, I'm kind of loving it. But yeah, the Kamikaze, compared to our normal explosions, it's got that extra range on it and extra damage, so we probably want to be focusing on using that. Can you... This is going to be hard. Okay, there you go. We kind of had to force that dude into it. Uh, ooh, hoo, hoo, Molten Dime's in there. That's, that's kind of spicy. I don't know where my secret room is, but I was just about to say, it's a good bet. What the hell? This is definitely a rare one from Rooms Galore, not my pack, because this is a little bit overpowered. But if I remember correctly, I did actually set the weight for this room at like 0.01. So this is exceedingly rare. We didn't actually get that much money out of this, considering. Let me say that like you're at 49 cent, what you're talking about. But if you consider it, really. From four golden pennies, only getting to 49 cent isn't insane. Right, let's go. This is such a bizarre run. I do hope that somehow the mutant uh, fetus thing does work. I doubt it is, but I really hope it is. <laughs> One bomb. Two bomb. <laughs> Dead. Gotta love it. Ooh, what trinket are we gonna get here? Doors could be blood. What the fuck is this run? What is what is going on? Um, just this is nuts. <laughs> like this is genuinely nuts. We have the most like explosive synergy uh, run ever. <laughs> We got started with an explosive item, got Kamikaze, got Dr. Fetus, and now we can open up all locked doors with bombs. Like, something I've got to go check real quick. I realise we're not going to make a boss rush at this rate, but honestly, we weren't going to make it anyways. Uh, I just want to try, see if you can get into the boss trap room via this. I doubt it, 
But this is a trinket that can open up a lot of doors. So no, okay, it can't. I just gotta try one thing as well. I just wanna place an actual bomb and see if it makes any difference. No. But this... This is just, like, the most flagship explosion run. Like, the only thing we could get now to make this truly complete is Pyromaniac. If we get Pyromaniac this run, I'm calling it, this run is rigged. Someone, someone out there is rigging this run for me. If I get it, that is. There's also probably a lot of, ooh, Curse of Rebirth. This is a new curse. Enemies have a chance to be reborn when we kill them. And as you can see here, they have been reborn. This is a curse that... I said to the developer, I'm probably going to end up disabling, because you can disable them individually. Um, but, I don't know. I'll see. I, I don't want to outright, like, just get rid, but it does seem like a curse that I'm likely to not like. Um, just because I feel like it could fuck with a lot of modded rooms, mainly. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but, I'm not going to write it off straight away. I'm not going to, see what I mean? I'm not going to disable anything. Um, what do we get here? What the fuck? Oh, that's 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 a kind of a cool room. You have to use a lock to get the fire so that you can fly so you can grab the candle item. I like that. That's a cool idea. I'm not going to grab it yet, but that is a cool idea. But I do not want to be the lost is with this very explosive um, version of what we've got here. Yeah, so it can fuck with certain rooms, I think. But I think it's pretty cool, though. Like, it's 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 definitely a curse that's got some flair to it. And like I said, I don't want to outright, like, write it off. I'm just saying that I feel like it could end up causing some messy situations. But it might not. I might be completely wrong. I like the fact that it's got this this these nice visual effects. Uh, I really, really like what he's done with the curses there. I don't even know what this does. Oh... This is just the best thing ever. Like, what is going on? My goodness. It's just nuts. Oh, why am I using keys? I don't need to use keys. Hierophon. Some burn hearts there. Thank you. Lil Hushy. Thank you. Okay, we got this room again somehow, but whatever. I actually just can't believe how crazy this is. This is nuts. It genuinely is just nuts. Printed rock there. Small rock, hell yes. Um, Maybe here? I don't really know where the secret room could be at this point, but I'm going to check anyways. Uh, hmm... Could be here, actually. Yeah, there you go. Spawns one extra bomb for each bomb placed. This game... ...needs to chill out. Awesome. What does that little thing do, by the way? Increase the odds of finding Eden's Blessing. Ooh, That's really cool. Really cool. But, wait, what? Where'd it go? What the fuck? I picked up the ring cap. Where the fuck's it gone? What? Did I not pick up the blast cap? Where the hell did it go? I am very confused. I guess I'll take filigree feather for now, but I'm very confused where that went. Just... I'm I'm honestly dumbfounded by how crazy this is. Like honestly, we got perfection. Ordinary life is very nice. Um, I don't think I want perfection. I'll be honest. I have to check. I am almost certain it overrides. But let's let's just see. If there's a synergy that makes it explosive, I'll take it. Spirit sword, Isaac. But I'm almost certain it overwrites. And then just go... Doctor... Overwritten by Spirit Sword. Big sad, big sad, but... That's the way the cookie crumbles.
Okay, good. And we get- what the fuck is this? You shot speed up. Your tears are replaced with piercing feathers that deal more damage the more they travel. Double tap to... Um, do wait a minute. Double tap to perform one dogma related attack has a six second cooldown. I'm going to take this in the hopes it's not a tear replacer completely. Okay, good, it's not. Ooh, and there's the dogma attack. Okay, so we can double tap to get these extra dogma attacks. This is pretty cool. Okay, so we don't get the tear replacer, but we do get the dogma attacks. I like that. Right. Let's go. Remember, we don't have to use keys anymore. This is fucking crazy. Look, boom. Now that's pretty nutty, but I feel like it's hella dangerous. I don't know. I feel I feel like I feel like that's an interesting one, but it's a really bad idea. Let's let's try and get something a little a little more on brand. I want I want bomb related items. But I will take holy mantle. <laughs> that actually helps us so much. Let's double tap. Ooh, cool dogma attack. I I really like that. That's for my repentance plus, I think. Ah, bugger. Although that didn't hurt us for some reason. Maybe because I've got Holy Mantle. I think just having Holy Mantle makes it not triggered, you know, like when you're the lost. This is such a cool run though. This is why I fucking love Isaac. Like, I've never, I've never had a run. Oh wait, th this gives us piercing too. Nice. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I've never had a run like this before. Like. I have pl I've played Isaac for 1,300 hours and then about 300 hours off Steam as well. And I've still never seen a run like this. Like, how is that possible? I realise that we're playing with a lot of modded stuff, which kind of ups the chances of not seeing stuff. But even still. Oh, we can open the chest with the bombs. I don't want to go to the devil deal. That's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, sorry. Don't really care about anything in there. Now we need Spectral. Spectral would, like, up the efficacy of, of our bombing ability so much. Like, this is literally... Do you know how, like, uh, how like YouTubers are like, look at this, if you just get these items together that are insanely hard together, you'll have a great run. This is one of those runs. This is, like, the... All I need now is, like, rock bottom. And this is, like, the YouTuber clickbaity thumbnail wet dream. Right. I'm going to take my time here. I've accidentally activated the timer again. Every time. Go away, timer. I don't want you. Nobody ever wants you. Oh, one thing I need to enable as well, just real quick, is if I go over to this, apparently somewhere... Oh. Okay. Um... There's something I can do. Indicators. Uh... Is it on display, maybe? Whoopsie. You can... There's a display that shows... Um, what mod it's from. Uh... I'm not seeing anything. Visuals, maybe? <laughs> Display object ID, no. Maybe it's not updated yet, crafting, mouse. I, I, I don't know where it is. Apparently it's in there somewhere. Also, it's in rock. Thank you. We're at full health anyways, but still. Secret room, secret room. Oh, where are you? A lot to see on this floor. Need a speed up. Speed up is something that I'd, I'd definitely be up for right now.
I mean, when we're using dark arts, it's not a problem, but when we're not, I feel so slow. Also, Job's family, by the way, doing a real good job. I really like the idea with the Job mod of adding, adding these uh, tainted items. It's kind of interesting. Kind of, it'd be cool if, if more packs did that. It's not, that, not like it's required, but it is a cool idea. There you go. I managed to get rid of the timer. I always manage to do it somehow. I, I never know how, though. Right, boom. Bunch of extra money. Lovely. I'm just, honestly, I'm just waiting for the next explosive-themed thing. Because, obviously, we need some bomb upgrades at some point. That's kind of, like, next on the docket. Um... Excuse me. Uh, second secret room at least. I love the way that opened all of those at once. I'm really hoping we find a bomb beggar because obviously we don't actually need our actual bombs. So we'll be able to get quite a lot out of those guys. Ghost bombs would be awesome with this setup. Um... Danger Room's always pretty good. I'll take Danger Room. Just a few extra consumables here and there. Could get some soul hearts or whatnot. But this, this, I always say this, and it's kind of crazy, like, how often it happens. But this might be one of my favorite runs, as of late. I want to use this Dogma item a little more as well. I need to remember it's a double tap sort of thing. Whoa, that was cool. Oh, I completely balls that up. Boom. You've been dusted, boy. Extra luck. That's kind of nice. We'll take it. And we shall keep on moving on. Oh, my God. <sighs> Go, my dog, my boy. Got a black out of that. Do a swords, beautiful. The the contact damage that my um that my bombs do is kind of crazy. It does a lot. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Whoopsie. Oh my god, my first time hitting myself. It's fine. It's a first for everything. Go, my bomb pretties, go! There you go, doesn't matter anyways. And I'm loving it with Holy Mantle as well. Oh. I mean, to be honest, we don't even need to use Dark Hearts to use Kamikaze anymore now that we have Holy Mantle. We could effectively just waste our Holy Mantle each room to use it. I thought that was Secret Room. Good stuff. Look at this shit! Ipecac boys, please! Little horn. I'm sorry, but that's another one that requires uh, me to use the candle, and I'm not willing to do that right now. Come here, you. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. It's okay. Holy Mantle is saving my absolute rear right now. Boom. Ugh, that's an unfortunately very sucky item. That's our first, like, very, very sucky item. I'm, I'm literally not even going to take it. It's that sucky. Right, what do we get here? Activates a random book. I might as well just try it and see what it... Oh, it did, did Anarchist Cookbook. Of course. Why wouldn't it on this run? You know the way. Uh, right. Keep looking around. Oh! Oh, Familiar's glitched out and did that weird movement thing. Don't know why that happens sometimes. It's 
Scratch card. We got a trinket. Edgeless. Oh, wait. This is going to be really good with our active because it always activates the electricity effect on the active use. So this should be really good. Yeah, it very much is. The unknown. The hero font. I guess I'll just take the hero font. Yeah, that's going to be really good. I um, don't think there's much else I need to do in this, in this floor. Yeah, that's going to be super useful. Now this 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 room's gonna get messy. I'm gonna let my babies take care of that. Okay, I was, I was gonna say it's gonna get messy, and then we destroyed it. Okay. This is gonna be very interesting. <laughs> oh my lord! Wait. Excuse me. Do do you see? My filigree feather here? Do you see it? Why did why did I get a key piece? Whenever you buy um Ooh, bombing the statue will spawn a super hostile fallen angel. Defeating him will drop a Ooh, that's really interesting, but not my style right now. Um but yeah, key piece, excuse me. Why? <laughs> but yeah, this uh this this thing that we just got, this prismatic whatever. It's going to be absolutely bonkers. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Especially with piercing. With piercing, I think it's going to be even more insane. If it works the way I think it does, but I'm fairly sure it will. Get ready to die. I'm fairly sure it will. We just got to trigger it at some point. Basically... My assumption is when we pierce through an enemy with a bomb, it will split into four multicolored bombs. Now, it hasn't happened yet, so I'm a little dubious that it's going to work, but we will see. Ooh, extra explosions. Why not? Don't know why I did that there. That was pretty stupid. But yeah, um, always, always willing to have some extra explosions going on. Really, that didn't quite hit you. Oh, what a horrible room. Uh, I'm stuck. I love the way Holy Mantle looks when we've got this, like, dark Judas effect here. Also, we've got no eyes. We've just got the parasite eyes, and that's it. And that's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm, I'm dubious that it's going to work, because it's not happened yet. There you go. Fire it and knock back. Why not? I've got any curses going on at the minute. Oh my lord. Right. I want to see it happen though, because our, our one bomb will split into four bombs, which will split into eight bombs, which is just going to be fucking awesome. Doesn't seem to want to happen though. Come on, dude. Give it up. Ooh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> that was short lived. Look at this. Right, we out of there. Oh, slow it down again. I still don't know why that happens. I really, really wish I did. Oh, it's just giving me so much money as well. What's with all the money? This is definitely secret room here. I said definitely. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm fairly sure. Oh, okay. I was wrong. Beautiful. <laughs> You're so dead, dude. You're so ultimately fucked. Boom. White pony? No thank you. I'll be taking my leave. Boom. Come on, let me see it just happen just one time. Oh, that was the most satisfying thing I've ever seen in my life. Everything just demolished. Where are you, little ghosty babies? We got Flat Penny again. Hello. I'm sorry, but 
I have other priorities. Oh, you want to fire an explosion at me? Really? An explosive? I don't think so, Sonny Jim. Oh, I see you there. I see you. Why'd I plant a real bomb? Why not just do that? Idiot. Luck Penny, nice. Nothing much in here though. I'm, I'm glad they're way more balanced now. They used to be so broken. The Angel's Q battery is making this so powerful as well. Like, we're, we're clearing rooms so fast that we're actually gaining like an orbital suite of war locusts, which is awesome because they are also quite explosive. Boom. Soul of Apollyon, that kind of is on theme for what we're doing right now. Just run into every room, do that, <laughs> run to the next one. Into the room, do that, onto the next one. <laughs> there you go. It's beautiful. Oh, the beautiful dogma attack. Beautiful. Get ourselves an angel deal as well. We are in time for Hush too. I mean, unfortunately, doesn't really do all that much for us. Also, we have a full key. When did we get the other key piece? I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> right. We gotta do Hush with this setup. We just gotta. Please give me, like, Pyro or something. Not that I need it. I just think it'd be great. <laughs> Ludo would be good, but it caps your fire rate a bit. So I'm going to take this instead. That's pretty fucking good. Oh, my lord. And then I think that's going to be pretty good, too, actually. Black Candle is always nice. No items here, unfortunately, but this is some good stuff. This is some good stuff. Remember, we have a Hero Font card, too. But I'm not quite sure if Dad's Ring will work the way I think it will. But I think it'll freeze enemies when we pass through them. Also, how insane, how insane is it that we just got Extension Cord with Jove's family? That is such a good combo. They're all over the shop. They're going to be going at that constantly. We got a black heart from Danger Room as well. Gotta love it. Right. Dogma attack. Go. I'm just going to keep tap firing to try and get the dogma attacks going. I think we did get a prismatic. Yeah, look. We've got some prismatic things there going on. I don't know why it's firing tears exactly, but it's working somewhat. Go, Dogma attack. I'm sorry that my bombs keep pushing you away, little Dogma baby. Oh, this is so cool. And the run's, like, not even that laggy either. Like, that's my favorite thing when I have, like, a powerful run that's really unique that isn't just an absolute lag fest. Like, last episode was really fun, but goddamn did it hit the frame rate a little bit. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, those feathers look so good with the uh, Dark Arts attack going on. Get that brimstone there. This is so fucking cool. I really shouldn't be getting in there during this attack of all attacks, but still. Like, oh, it, it did freeze him. Yeah, da Dad's Dad's ring was a good, a good shout. Which means that um, ordinary life actually helped us a ton there. Ooh, and um, the angel wings are proccing our mutant fetus as well. Look at that. You think you can hurt me with your measly laser beams? Ha! Ha! 
Let's go to the lamb. <laughs> I get near them, freeze them, and then blow them off. It's great. These enemies are so good for this floor. Go, Doc, my baby. Do your thing. Ow. Beautiful. Careful, the brimstones. That thing just died straight away. It tried. Keep going. <laughs> oh, I just, I just love it. This is just so crazy. Look at that. Never even stood a chance. What are they to do? Three. No. Three. Two. One. Boom. <laughs> and then the explosive flies get him. If we don't get him, the explosive locusts do. One shot, baby. Heckin' one shot. Right, down we go. I still want to know what happened to Blast Cap. I'm gonna have to go and have a look after this record and see where that disappeared to. Because it literally did just disappear. Sadly, nothing good here. Yeah, unfortunately, nothing like this worth taking, really. I mean... Yeah, I guess the Holy Mantle's gonna make this pretty good, right? I don't know how this guy will work, though. He, he, okay, he still does take health. We're not gonna use him. Okay, we're just gonna hope for some chests here. We got four looks, so we should be reasonably okay to get a chest or two. My god. Okay, Dad's Ring, even without this Kamikaze synergy, is insanely good with Dark Arts. That's a rainbow chest as well. Hell yes. A little spewer. Nerve pinch. We won't take a nerve pinch. I've had that kind of be a bit weird before. Plus one familiar. Spawning a familiar when taking damage lasts for the current room. Seems pretty good. Prayer card. No, thank you. Actually, I suppose I will just... Oh, yes. Give me those rainbow bombs. Hello. Oh, no way. Okay, this is way better than I thought. It's like not just rainbow colored. We get all the rainbow effects too. Yeah, this is way better than I thought. We get like Bob's Rotten Head and stuff. Like Bob's Curse, sorry. Awesome. We get some really interesting effects out of this. That's Mallet. Only consumes two charges. You spawn to Mallet that does one damage. Uh, it's an active, so maybe not, but that sounds pretty interesting. Oh my god, this is a lot of fat boys. How did I not take any damage then? I am completely baffled by that. Found a secret room during all that too, apparently. There's this card. Fool card isn't really what we want right now. Reverse fool, at least should I say. Ooh, do not blow this up. God damn you, you stupid motherfucker. That's an evil little room there. <laughs> it's an evil little room. I like it though. And we get herming bombs every now and again, which is also nice. Let's keep this train a rolling. Keep this train a going strong. Right. The destruction train never stops. I'm hoping for like one more bomb related item. That's the one thing, like, of this run being as bomb themed as it's been, the one thing we didn't get is a bomb, like, an actual, uh, like, bomb upgrade. Which is kind of crazy. That's pretty good for us right now.
Boom. I love that. It even works with the little fires as well. Get out my face, bomb. I don't care about you. I was molded by the explosions. <laughs> I wonder if the split ones adopt the first one or the two new ones, as in like what effect they get from Play-Doh Cookie. I'm curious. Ah, I was like, why am I moving? Then I realized there was literally just something right in front of my face. Like a, a skull. How did that not hit? Okay, whatever. Whatever. Lamb, I will kill you because my objective says so, but I'm going to definitely do uh, Mega Certain here. You are going down. I really wish that worked. The uh, abrasion thing, the... the the multicolored thing worked with bombs. Later, ho. Right. There is a forgotten heart in here. Thank you for the damage up. Uh, we have a few rooms remaining. Not that many chances to get any better items, really. But we will try. We will try our best. Let's go. Can't believe we got a rainbow chest. Pretty great. Nice, so many fires, goddamn. Charge key, don't need it. Got infinite active item uses. Beautiful. High Priest isn't really going to do much for us here. Right, let's go do it. Do it to it. Hello, Mega Certain. We have a gift for you. It's called death. And remember, when we get hit, we're going to spawn new familiars as well. Look at that damage. Oh my god. It, honestly, I think the edgeless cube battery is doing way more damage than I'm giving it credit for. Like, I knew it'd be good, but I think it is genuinely doing a shit ton of damage. Because it, it activates whenever I use my active item. And obviously, with infinite use actives, that's kind of crazy. Also, Little Hushy and Scented Candle are doing absolute work with the extension card here. But well, you decided to spawn in fire, so good on you. We just got this web of electricity constantly. And the fact that the Edgeless Cube battery has the same colored electricity just makes it even better. Getting all these finches here, I don't think really need them, but there you go. Hey, sir. How are you, fella? Would you like some bombs as well? I'm sure you would. There you go. There's one for you. Your hand is gone. Hey, you got some nice fire there as well. Get that going on. The amount of damage... Because I'm pretty sure the Kamikaze explosion goes through boss DPS cap. Goes through boss armor. So, we're just getting crazy. I don't think the Dr. Feeters bombs do. I think only regular bombs do. But, like, what? watch his health. Like, look at that damage. That's definitely going through boss armor, that. Top scene. I tried. It's okay. Oh, I can see the familiar like like that, that demon baby's like highlighted red like um like the siren. It's pretty cool. There you go. Just about rounds it out. That was absolutely mega. What a fantastic run. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. The most explosive run you've ever seen in your life. And I'll see you guys in the next one.